So my friend sent me flowers for my birthday and I kept the vase they came in, but it's this glossy green color. It doesn't really match what I have in my apartment. So I'm gonna DIY it to something different. I found these gemstone stickers at Dollar Tree. They didn't have the white or clear ones, so I bought the pink because it was the lightest color. I then split the vase into quarters with two strands going one direction and two strands going the opposite direction. When the strands are going to cross over, make sure you cut them so that they lay flat on the vase. You then just follow your original strands with however many rows you want. I did four and then you spray paint it. I used a high gloss spray paint. You can also use matte, whatever you prefer. I did three coats. Your vase would turn out like this. You can leave it as so, or you can add flowers. I added eucalyptus along with two other kinds of flowers, and there you go. Today we're skinning CDs to make them clear for a prop I need for a photo shoot I'm doing so I thought I'd just do a tutorial. First you want to grab your CD and then you're going to grab some scissors and make a little slit. Then you want to grab some packing tape and you're going to place the packing tape there and basically peel it off ASMR in 3, 2, 1. That was not it. Anyways, um, you're going to keep doing it until the CD is finally clear and once it is, um, you can use it for your photo shoots. I had a couple extra left so I'm going to use these paint markers to draw on them and just put them in my room. I hung them on my window and they look kind of snazzy. They even reflected rainbows on my room which was cool. But yeah, I'm doing a shoot inspired by this album so make sure to follow and like for the results. Hey guys, I've gotten a lot of requests for dorm DIYs, so today I'm going to show you how to make a headboard for $20. I started with a presentation board and then I put these Walmart placemats over top. Then I traced where I wanted to cut and I cut inside the line a little bit so that the placemats would hang over and you wouldn't see the cardboard behind it. And it doesn't have to be precise at all. So then I just removed the tags and I laid them out in an alternating pattern. E6000 is the secret sauce for any DIY project, it will not budge. I also added some hot glue just because E6000 takes some time to dry and I'm impatient. And then I just used some twine that I already had to cover up any holes. And this is what the headboard turned out like. Once you command strip it to the wall behind your bed, you have the perfect bohemian headboard that looks like it's from Urban Outfitters, but you made it for $20.
Thanks a lot, you idiot. Thanks a lot, Rachel. Thanks a lot. Thanks to you, my charger's not charging me iPad because it's gotten used to your iPad instead of mine. Decorating my office on a budget part one. I got a couple vases from a local estate sale. They were $5 total and I'm going to be painting these three because I didn't like the look of them. First, I went to Home Depot and got these paint samples. They were about $4 each and then I went and got baking soda as well as some painting utensils from Dollar Tree. I decided to try the TikTok hack that makes your painted vases look like ceramic pots. So I go ahead and mix up my colors with the baking soda in order to make that effect. Next, I found these gemstones at Dollar Tree and I put them all over the pot just to give an added effect. And then I start painting the pot over the gemstones like this. Once that's done, I go ahead and move on to the next pot that I wanted to paint with this lovely beige color and do the same with the baking soda. For my final vase, I found these blue gemstones at Dollar Tree and decided to super glue them all over the entire vase. Once that's done, I grab a white color and paint it without the baking soda. I let them dry overnight and they're done. This is the final look. Let me know what you guys think.